Welcome to Road to Platinum, the time attack video guide for Initial D Arcade Stage 8. This video will cover how to Platinum Akina Downhill. Arguably the most popular course in Initial D, Akina is a challenging high-speed course that more than lives up to its reputation. The many hairpins and gutter corners pave the way to a downhill route that puts your mind and reflexes to the test. Akina is the fifth course in the game and one of moderate difficulty. Here is the breakdown of the course. Section 1 features two hairpins, the second requires a gutter entrance. Section 2 features a double hairpin segment, a winding segment with two gutters, and a single sharp gutter hairpin. Section 3 features a tricky hairpin and the famous consecutive gutter hairpins. And finally, Section 4 features three wider hairpins and a winding road that ends with a gutter corner. The specialist cutoff time is 2 minutes and 55 seconds, while the platinum cutoff time is 3 minutes and 9 seconds. The course cars for the downhill route are the Toyota Chureno and Levin GT Apex AE86. All cars can achieve platinum rank given their at least X spec. For this run, I will be using a Toyota Trueno 2-door AE86, a 5-speed manual. Similar techniques apply to a 6-speed manual as well as automatic transmission. Akina starts with a long straightaway, shift up to your highest gear as quickly as possible. Try to keep gas on through the first hard left, and again gas on through the next hard right. For the first hairpin, I brake cancel 7 times at a slower frequency to slow down a bit before cornering. I lock the wheel to the right and gas off at the apex. The car gets a little squirrely at the exit, but I manage to control it. If you can't take this hairpin in your highest gear, try braking more at the entrance or take the hairpin in fourth. For the next hairpin, I set up my line and aim for the gutter on the end of the first bend. I hit the gutter and immediately start brake cancelling 6 times, lock left, and gas off. I shift down to 4 at the apex as I quickly felt my speed was too high. I would recommend shifting down to 4 after hitting the gutter for a less risky drift. The incoming hard right can be difficult to anticipate. Start wide, turn early, and gas off to clear it. Now for the double hairpin segment. I shift down to 4th and brake cancel 6 times as I approach the first hairpin, lock right, and gas off. The game registered an overdrift, but I counter steer to control it. While in 4th gear, I brake cancel 5 times, lock left, and gas off for the second hairpin. I shift up to 5th as I exit. Now for the winding gutters. I skip the first gutter and simply gas off. This is purely by habit. I set up my line and aim for the gutters on the second bend, hit the gutter while gassing off, and clear the corner. I must apologize in advance as I butcher this gutter hairpin. This is how it's actually done. Start wide and turn in, the earlier the better. When you hit the gutter, keep the wheel locked to the right and gas off. You'll naturally exit on the outside lane of the road. Here's the failed and successful gutter hairpin side by side. For the best chance at attaining platinum, you should use the gutter on this hairpin. A successful gutter hairpin shaves a good 2 seconds off your time compared to a failed one. The next hairpin is difficult to anticipate because of the narrow entrance and wide exit. At the last banner, I brake cancel 7 times, lock left, and gas off. I shift down to 4th and quickly return the wheel at the apex to prevent myself from steering into the inside wall, a very common mistake. Mm -hmm. 
Lock the wheel on the incoming hard left. Gas off if you must. Now come the consecutive hairpins. I intentionally enter at full speed, aim for the first gutter, hit the gutter, and then hit the wall on the exit. I shift immediately down to third to compensate for the speed loss, and hit the second gutter. While in third, I gas off to hit each subsequent gutter. Hitting these gutters is tricky, but your best chance at platinum is through using them as much as possible. For the wide double hairpins, I accidentally overdrift again with 7 brake cancels. I hit the wall and shift down to 3rd, then brake cancel 3 times for the 2nd hairpin. For the upcoming hard left, I lock the wheel left, gas off, and brake to clear the corner. For the last hairpin, I brake cancel 4 times, lock right, and gas off. I return the wheel too soon and hit the wall on the exit, forcing me to shift down to 4th. For the winding final section, try to keep gas on. Gas off if you must. For the very last corner, start wide and aim for the gutter. Hit it, and then cross the finish line. Even with the failed gutter hairpin and other mistakes I made on this run, I finish about a second and a half under the platinum cutoff. Keep in mind that Akina's high speed nature makes it a very challenging course, so don't get discouraged if you find yourself hitting the walls a lot. Remember, practice makes perfect. Again, this is not the best or fastest method, but consider using this as a starting point when aiming for platinum rank. And as always, experiment with your technique and discover what works best for you.